biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some peanut butter jelly chicken at the pit. And it's real easy to do. But first off, we want to thank uh, Citrus Safe for sponsoring this video. We really appreciate our corporate members. And uh, you clean your grill real quick and easy. Just spray some Citrus Safe on, right? Let it sit for a minute. Scrape it down with one of their brushes. And uh, you finish it off by just getting a paper towel and wiping it clean. Perfect. Thank you, Citrus Safe. All right. Now. Back to the peanut butter jelly chicken. You got to check this recipe out, all right? So here we've got some boneless chicken breasts, right? Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You've seen these. They're all over the place, right? And uh, let's put this together. So we're talking peanut butter. We got some creamy peanut butter here, and we're going to use about uh, maybe a half a cup of peanut butter. Now, you can use the chunky. That would... Uh, That'd be awesome too, but we got the creamy. Now, equal parts jelly, right? So one to one, peanut butter and jelly. So we've got some uh, preserves here, actually. It's an orange preserve. And uh, you know orange and chicken go together real well. So um, throw that into the uh, mixing bowl. And here we've got some SPG. We're going to season this up. It's got some pepper in there, a little more salt little garlic, a few other seasonings, and uh, you mix it in, mix it up good. Oh, yeah, perfect. You know where I'm going with this. If you love peanut butter jelly sandwiches, you're going to love this recipe. I'm telling you. All right, now, you can, uh, you can smooth it down a little bit more, break it down. You can add a little bit of your favorite beverage in there, right? Give it a mix. You want to get that right consistency. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man, it's perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, we're going to take these uh, chicken breasts. They've already been washed and prepared, and we're just going to dry them off a little bit. Now, here's the technique. We're going to take our 10-inch butcher here, and we're, we're going to cross-hatch it. So we're going to slice it in, and you can go as deep as a half, even a little bit more, or more shallow, whatever. All right. And like I said, we'll cross hatch it just like that. Now, why are we doing this? Because we want to get that peanut butter and jelly deep into these chicken breasts. Simple, right? So just in case you fell asleep, we'll show you how to do another one. Take your knife and make some fairly deep slits right in there. Oh, that's pretty easy, right? Man gonna be good. See how that's gonna work? Looks like a tire tread in my big old truck, right? Oh man. But you know these uh, chicken breasts can be very lame, right? They're very, very um, lean. They have no fat in them. No fat means no flavor. You know about that, cooking chicken breasts. But uh, this is the way to uh, step it up a notch. Get that flavor in there, and who doesn't like peanut butter and jelly? All right. So, enough of that. Next step, we're going to take uh, our peanut butter and jelly mix. We're going to take our uh, butter knife, spread it on. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. Hey, Martha, where are you? We're going to be eating good tonight. Wait till you check these peanut butter and jelly chicken breasts out. They're good. All right. Oh, man. This is the best part. Put it on nice and thick. Just like that. Oh, man. All right. Spread on. Now... Work that peanut butter and jelly and SPG right in there. All right. These will cook a little faster than a normal uh, chicken breast, because right, we've opened it up. Look at that. This is the good part. I know we could uh, go a little bit faster in this video. Some of you are impatient, but uh, kind of like doing this. So uh, use that fast forward button. Right, if, uh, if this is uh, bothering you. <laughs> oh, 
beautiful. See? Now, you could do this on a boneless uh, pork chop as well, right? That's another idea. All right, we've got our uh, kettle grill set up for indirect, right? You know all about that. Indirect heating, we got the charcoal on one side because we use this kettle like a kitchen oven, right? And we control the heat by doing it this way. We're going to bake these things, essentially. Right? Yeah, and you could do this recipe uh, in the house, right? If it's too much snow, it's raining. Go ahead, do it in the house. So we got the temperature at about 325 degrees. We want to cook it slow. We want to try to keep as much moisture in these uh, chicken breasts as possible. Right? Now, here we've got some breadcrumb. We've got the uh, panko breadcrumb. Uh, you're probably familiar with this. And we're going to spread a little bit on the top. This will help us uh, crisp up these chicken breasts just a little bit. Right? You got it? All right. This won't take long. All right, we're about halfway through. This might take 40 minutes, but uh, use your instant read uh, thermometer, right? Your chef's thermometer, and you want to get it up to about 160 to 165 degrees internal. Right? That's a safe way to eat chicken. So uh, just to get some even cooking, we'll just turn these a bit halfway through. I told you this is going to be easy to do. Perfect. You can see how much control we have over that heat, too, right? Oh, nice. Starting to brown up. All right. In a miracle of time, these peanut butter jelly chicken breasts are done. Just take a look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Lord have mercy. Much more to say. Right? So hopefully you got a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich going on right now. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! All right. Now, because I know you want to take a look inside, you're going to see how tender this is, and it's full of flavor. Peanut butter and uh, jelly. Fully cooked on the inside, not overcooked. Look at that. Perfect. And of course, uh, this is the part where the pit masters are going to unapologetically eat in front of you. And we do not apologize. You got to head down, get yourself some uh, boneless chicken breasts, and check this recipe out. Your friends and family are going to love it. All right. Perfect for tailgating, backyard picnic, family uh, party, whatever. Now, we're not going to stop there, right? You could have made a fancy-ass plate with these uh, chicken breasts, peanut butter chicken breasts, but we're going to make a peanut butter jelly chicken sandwich. And I'm sure we don't have to show you how this is done. Right? Spread on some peanut butter. Got some jelly there. Perfect late night snack. Then we're gonna take one of these peanut butter jelly chicken breasts. And we'll just uh, cut it in two. But you can throw the whole thing on one. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Peanut butter and jelly chicken sandwich. There's no chicken house around anywhere that will give you something like this. So uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. All right? Follow us. Subscribe. Head over to our website. Start a barbecue pit boys chapter. <laughs> we do appreciate your support. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.